Okay. If they don't have their seat, we'll, um, y'all will get a chance to talk to you to speak with the college reps for the end. In the interest of time, we're going to go ahead and get started. So those that have to leave early can slide on the floor. Hold up. Hold up. You're fine. Good afternoon. My name is uh, Rosina Devon Bennett. I am the uh, trio director here for Food Support Services and the UV program. Today we have our fall orientation. I'd like to say welcome to all of you and thank you for taking time out of your schedule, class schedule, to come by and see us in the break. And thank you, college representatives, for coming out to uh, enhance our students' knowledge about your university. Today we are um, going to discuss some transfer programs that each one of these universities have, and at the end, you'll have an opportunity to um, print out your program, evaluations, or unofficial transcripts to show them to the representatives um, if you are interested in their university um, after they finish their speech. For those of you that have come with a friend uh, and really don't know a whole lot about student support services, we are a federally funded program, and we're designed to assist you with your matriculation out of James Frank Community College that owns one of these fine universities inside of this room or in any of the state of North Carolina. Um, like I said again, we'd like to thank each one of you for coming and what I'm going to do at this time is introduce the representatives and then after we have program events, we will um, let them come back and talk about each one of their universities. Ms. Morey is from SEPCU Partnership. We have, I'm going to get it right, Kayla Williams Jones from East Carolina. We have from Mount Olive University, Carrie Dupree. Uh, from North Carolina Westman, we have Mr. Corey Coley. And from UNCW, we have Ms. Carla Blank. Each one of them will have a time in which they will come. I would also be remiss not to mention the great staff that we have here at Student Support Services. We have our program counselor, Ms. Gordon Hill, to the coordinator, Ms. Pam Morgan, our administrative assistant, Ms. Lydia Woodard, which is behind the camera, and the foster recovery, which is not here at this present time. He's running around trying to do some other stuff for me, um, which is our math skills specialist. We also have an academic advisor that will come on board with us this coming Monday that will be able to help you with your mid-semester planning for your classes. <coughs> At this time, if this would have come and give us the upcoming events, and then we'll move forward. Hi, my name's Lydia. Um, each of you should have received, when you came in, one of these lists of our upcoming events. Um, it's, we're just getting started, so more will be added to this, and also some of the things that's possible that they could change. We will email you and post it on the bulletin board if there are any changes and when there are additions. So make sure you check the bulletin board and check your emails. Also remember when you come to any of our events to sign in. That way we can give you credit for attending. If any of the events that you want to attend are during your class time, if there's a conflict, we cannot give you permission to miss class, be late for class, or leave early from class. You have to get prior permission from your instructors to do that. Um, so just remember that when you're looking over this and you see anything you want to attend. We also try to video um, a lot of our events, so if you can't attend, you can go to our website, scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see workshops. Um, it's a YouTube um, link, and it will link you up to our videos of our workshops. If you view any of these, send us an email, let us know so you can get credit for that. Um, can't think of anything else right now. Just make sure you check your emails often. Come by and see us often so we can help you. Our goal is to help you succeed in your educational goals um, and hopefully transfer. But we do want to see you often, so come by and see us. Thank you. Students, for a lot of you that may not know, James Front has um, partnered with SALT. What that program does, it, it helps our students and our alumni with financial literacy. I brought the roof crew, all of them. Student support services, when you come in, part of our financial literacy program, 
Ms. Lassie, which we asked you to come in and learn how to spend and learn how to budget your money. SALT is another added program that we have that is more in depth and more enhanced. Um, once you come in and try to do Lassie, if some of you want to do Lassie today, NASPAR has a website for SALT. We'll go in and show you how to sign up for it, uh, what the process is, and then the courses and stuff that you'll be able to go with money management that it shows for you. And again, that service is free to all NASPAR students. At this time, we will, um, once they get in and get signed in, we're going to start with the college representatives, or whatever order they so choose to come, so that they can discuss what their university has to offer to the students.
So you can go to psychology, so it would be the degree at ECU, and you would click on AA, so she's receiving her associate in arts degree, and it will actually bring up a four-year degree plan. And this is really helpful for students, especially if you're not really sure what to register for um, or don't really know what to take, um, especially if you're thinking of transferring to a four-year institution. These could be some courses that you complete um, so that once you complete your AA degree, you'll be diving right into our psychology um, department when you get here um, your junior year. Um, we do have tours that are on campus. So I think the biggest thing for students to do is definitely to tour campus. Um, you might be thinking you might want to go to a small private institution or maybe a big public institution um, or somewhere far away or close to home. So I think kind of figuring out maybe where you're going to fit best um, and then definitely visiting the school. So again, we're about an hour and a half away, so not too far. Um, and we have tours every day, Monday through Friday at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. Um, and we also have transfer tours specifically on the third Friday of every month. And you can see this all on our website. Um, so if you want to come, you can. Um, our open house is coming up October 15th. I have some flyers over at my table. So that's in a couple Saturdays. It's a long all-day event. It's free for students. Um, and you can travel to ECU for the day. Um, financial aid will be present. Um, University of Scholarships will be there. Talk about our scholarship opportunities. Degree programs will be there. So again, it'll be kind of a huge day with a lot of information, but a really good day to come check out. Um, just a little bit of it in a nutshell quickly. Um, do you all have any questions? Okay, well, if not, um, I'll be over there at the table until the end of the session today. So if you all can think of anything else, um, please just let me know. concentration is part-time also. With this, we are wanting you to take your foundational credits at your community college, and there's a checklist. I know I have someone's interested in elementary education, so we are going to click on elementary education. And under that, and each one will have their checklist, And this would be a list of courses that we would want you to complete while you are at James Brown or a community college, okay? Uh, so all of these will transfer. Actually, it will take care of 50% of your foundational credit and two of these classes are actually going to be applied to your major, okay? Also within this,
pay in something. <laughs> um, so, you've got your James Front Community College classes, your East Carolina Community College, uh, East Carolina courses. Questions? Okay. If you're thinking about becoming a teacher, please come and see me, okay?
if you want to look at degree planning, I'm just going to just kind of pick a random degree here. Let's look at business administration. When we look at degree planning, these are our degree worksheets. So this kind of gives you more, more information as far as what courses you would need, to, what requirements you would need to meet at Wesleyan. Um, I also have a transfer guide on my table and also on the website that will walk you through what you need to take here. That's important because you want to get as much as you can and save as much money by taking transfer courses, as many as those transfer courses here as possible. So I can give you that information so you'll know you can meet with your advisor and say, hey, what do I need, what requirement do I need to meet at James Front, or what can I take to come over to Wesleyan? So, and again, I can either email this to you or you can meet with me at the Hoffa building or we can talk today either, either way. But I have that, again, that information, um, the transfer guides, something that you can take away from uh, with you today. And I also have a community college guide uh, just kind of outlining the degrees that we offer. Uh, the degree program you may be in and what's the best degree to maybe take a look at um, with Wesley. So with that, that kind of concludes uh, my presentation. If there's any questions from anyone? Well, I do look forward to meeting each and every one of you and thank you for your time and your attendance. Okay? Thank
traditionally we see that most students in elementary education are in the AA option. Um, so it will give you all of the suggested courses for you to take while you're at the community college, um, what their transfer equivalency is at UNCW, um, and then in the very far right hand column, um, it's a required by major section. Um, so it will show you if that course is going to be required by the major. Um, so this is important because all of these courses don't necessarily have to be completed before transferring to UNCW, but it's beneficial if you get those because um, it just makes the transition easier for you and they, they do transfer. So um, some of those courses would be maybe a foreign language, maybe a lifestyle wellness course um, that you can complete within your associate's degree. Um, so in addition, just kind of wrapping up a little bit, um, we do also offer um, tours and transfer visit days um, for our transfer students. Um, transfer students are more than welcome to visit um, during any of our tours Monday through Friday, but we do offer transfer specific tours on select Fridays throughout the semester. Um, so our transfer to Teal Friday tours are here, um, and then we also offer select Saturday tours, um, typically one to two throughout the semester as well. Um, we do also have our open house visit day coming up this weekend, October 1st on Saturday. Um, so for a lot of you, it may be last minute, but we do. We are still taking registration, so we won't take walk-ins the day of. Um, and see how Saturday is our fall open house for any prospective students. So it's a great time for you to do the tour if you're interested in um, that. Look at the department that maybe your major is housed in. Um, financial aid. Um, we'll have. Um, different um, lunch gatherings for different student groups. Um, a lot of our student organizations will also be present as well. Um, so it's a great time to get a feel for the campus um, besides the, the student population and some of their instructors as well. Um, so if any of you are interested in that, I'd be glad to give you more information as well. Um, otherwise, we certainly you know, welcome you to our campus um, and you know, hope that we will see you soon. We are at the end of our program. Thank you so much to each of you for coming. And does anyone need to print out their unofficial transcript so they will be able to take it over when they talk to the reps? If so, please let one of us know. We'll walk you over to the lab, which is still right here in this building, so you can have a copy to go along with that. If not, we thank you. If there is some food in the uh, kitchen area, I don't know if you would like to have some slice of pizza. And thank you again. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. I'm getting old, y'all. <laughs> 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 not that at all.